Uh, tennis courts and parking lot, Dr. Skinkis, uh, starting on approximately page 89. So just to, just to uh, keep the board and the public informed on how, we're, how the ongoing litigation is going with the village of Brookfield, uh, the administration uh, in collaboration with the school board has done a good job to uh, publicize what's going on uh, in the litigation process and the village's most recent rejection of the district's uh, settlement offer. So I just wanted to do some uh, open uh, updating to the board. The letter here that's uh, in the packet is the August 24th letter that went out to the community. Um, that's a two-page letter that pretty, rise, pretty much provides a good summary of the entire uh, process from when we first started the zoning process uh, and started to formalize our ideas for what to do with the small piece of land that the district owns. Uh, to where we are currently today. Um, this would also be, this is also, this letter is also available on the website if anybody in the public would like to refer to it or if any board member needs to refer a public uh, member, a community member to it, it includes the rendering. Uh, the next is two slides over is the PA announcement. This is just an uh, ongoing PA announcement that we're reading during our athletic contest to encourage uh, attendees, both visitors to RB and RB supporters to get involved. Uh, we do understand the lack of parking at RB presents a real challenge for everybody and uh, we're encouraging people to get involved and give us their support. The next page that uh, is a one page kind of summary of the letter with the artistic rendering and includes uh, contact information for the village president. This has been added to all of our athletic programs so that people who attend events um, can get a, or from outside the school district, also from the school district, can get a short summary of where we're at and what we're trying to accomplish and how they can help us. Um, I've been answering some questions lately, uh, both to reporters primarily from the landmark, but also now that the petition has gone public and we uh, have a lot of support for the petition, we're over 1,400 signatures already. Um, just kind of asking the story. So I thought I'd put a little picture timeline together here. Marianne, next page, please. In April of 2014, when we first started to discuss what we were going to do with our property west of Golf Road, we originally had talked about making it all parking and moving our tennis courts off site. Uh, this is a rendering that we first posted to the public, which roughly has about 130 spots. It also had an exit on Hollywood Avenue. Um, and this is something that first went out to the public and was posted in the landmark. Based on the feedback that we received from both the community and the parents uh, of Hollywood Elementary students, the next picture shows that in uh, April, uh, June of 2014, we still had the concept on the table of moving the tennis courts off site and making the whole area parking, but we removed the exit onto Hollywood Avenue. Uh, because of the feedback we received from parents, both on uh, community members on Hollywood Avenue and down Rockefeller, and the concern about kids pulling out of the parking lot at times when students may be leaving or dismissing from Hollywood Elementary. So that was a, 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 sec a first sign of us working with some community feedback and adjusting uh, our plans. The next rendering you'll see is the, feed, uh, the rendering that the board voted on and decided in October uh, to support and take through the zoning process. And this, as you can see, it's a significant difference from June when we were at 133 parking spots and we went down to keeping the tennis courts back on site and going with 91 parking spaces. No exits or entry off of Rockefeller or Hollywood. All, all traffic flowing uh, through the cul-de-sac cul street on Rockefeller and down Golf Road. Um, this was the second opportunity for the district uh, to show that they were listening to the feedback both from its public facilities meetings and from its meetings with the administration at District 96, the PTO members from Hollywood Elementary, uh, some local community groups that met with me as a superintendent, uh, some meeting with the track coaches and track staff about maybe moving the track events and putting the shop put in the southeast um, corner and putting the pole vault and long jump back there. So based on all that feedback and input from stakeholders, this is the rendering that the board voted on in October um, that kept the tennis courts on site, reduced the parking lot again, and um, took this process to the zoning process. 
this was also the uh, the rendering that got uh, this was also the uh, proposal that was approved unanimously by the village uh, zoning board 70 after uh, addressing all flood control issues landscaping issues traffic uh, two traffic studies in a parking study in the, the when, when, flood you say, when you say flood control do you mean the bigger vault or do you mean a vault that was much smaller much cheaper than was acceptable for for the metropolitan water the vault is uh, if you look at the next rendering it says exhibit a a resident in Hollywood recently contacted me and said that they had children that went through the school uh, district and that they have always been a supporter of the school district. They were opposed to the original plan that was approved by the zoning board, but they feel that our most recent compromise uh, is a very fair offer and they want to get behind us and support us. And the only question he had and he wanted some information on that he could use uh, within the community was to address the whole flood control and because there was some concern by the Hollywood neighborhood on flood control. The vault size that was put in was more than what was required by the MWRD. Uh, it addressed both redirecting the flooding and drainage for our football field as well as accounting for the new impervious space of the 91 space parking lot. Um, the numbers are kind of small, but Exhibit A will show you if you could blow it up on the screen, Marianne, or board members, but the total serviceable area was 6.5 acres. Uh, impervious area was basically three and a half acres. The total detention required was by the village, on, uh, including the recommendations from MWRD, but also to meet the village standards were 1.110 um, acre footage. I think I'm saying that right, engineers, please forgive me. The detention provided in the field as well as in the pipe. So in the field meeting, um, that was by 0.348 acreage foot, acreage feet. And then the det detention provided in the storm trap was 0.8. So you can see we are roughly 0 0.03 or almost 4%, uh, sur have a 4% surplus of storage space for storm water, uh, even after all of our uh, on top of all the stuff that we did with the vault, the pipes, etc., cetera, um, and, and that what was, was required, that, we still have a 4% excess. That was when there were how many parking spaces? 91. Right. So exhibit B now, and this was the information I had the engineer put together for some of the Hollywood residents who are now trying to support our settlement offer. Uh, you can see that the impervious area went from 3.55 acres to now 3.46 and the amount of stormwater detention required would be just under 1.0, uh, roughly 0 0.98 or 98 point, 9851. And our current detention provides still the same number of 1.148. So we're almost per, uh, have an excess of 17% of stormwater detention available. And that would provide an additional stormwater per, um, runoff before that water flows into the village uh, sewer system and storm system. And so uh, I'm gonna put these renderings on uh, as well. Finally, there was um, uh, the landmark did write, and Marianne is the last email. The landmark uh, did write a nice article um, on the petition and the gaining of support and how the district has tried to compromise going from, and as the rendering show 133 would exits on the, to the public streets to go on a 133 no exits then going from 133 to 91 and now offering 63 all still to be rejected by the village board um, but this was an email that I sent to Bob Uphughes uh, just kind of clarifying some of the things that was in the most recent landmark article that ran last week when the petition went online and it will also be in print but it just kind of corrected a few things or provided some more background for some misrepresentations um, just kind of, I don't need to read it, the community can read it, it's out there, uh, but more or less just highlighting that the district was the first entity to file uh, in court for a public, uh, for the judge to... Um, for a settlement conference. A settlement conference, to facilitate a settlement conference, so we, uh, the school board did try to extend to try to reach a settlement. Um, 
the there was a comment made that the district uh, said hell no to a settlement offer that was inaccurate um, the last time settlement was raised was on August 23rd by the judge. She asked again if she could help facilitate a settlement between the parties. Um, and it was the village's attorney who said there was no room for settlement. Um, and we had worked closely with the village and their staff uh, at one of our settlement conference meetings to come up with some of the suggestions and implement some of the suggestions that the village staff gave us uh, at, at meetings to try to Get every, thinking we can get the support of the village and the village board and that was unfortunately turned down um, so I, this was just an email that was sent to the landmark uh, to provide some additional information to both uh, to, to support the article or maybe to get uh, a little reprieve of the article or corrections to the article we'll see how that goes out any questions from the board I, just I, I have one question that somebody asked me and I don't have the answer to it if the street Rockefeller is a public street, you know, on the weekend it's free, it's public. Why are we? They asked, why are we paying twenty thousand a year to lease it for our students to park on it? And the Rockefeller streets lease for just under fifteen thousand. I believe it's fourteen something or thirteen nine. Um, they charge us per space. They charge us a dollar amount uh, during school year, during the school year, and then that dollar amount's like cut in half during the summer. And we get it during the business hours. But but if, someone if, going to the zoo could park there for free, and we're technically paying for that parking. Yeah, so if we didn't lease it, we could still park there, though, right? Uh, there may be parking meters or some type of parking sticker maybe issued by the village. The, it's the for certainty. The contract back when it was made, is my understanding, is that we leased it during the school days and school hours. and. That it That's was free parking do, after that. Not only do we lease it, don't we maintain we do, it? We maintain right. it. We, it. we built maintain. it. Correct. We maintain. Did we not build it? Yeah. We did. Yes. We built it. We, did we it. pave it? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, any questions on this side? I have one question. I thought we were going to eliminate references to the concept that the green space was to be accessible to the community. Uh, where do you see that? It's on, well, the, it's on page It's the 90, August 24th letter. The August 24th letter in the last paragraph on what does the compromise entail. That was the letter that went out to the public, so I was just including it in my uh, packet. The timeline? Correct. The, that's obviously still the district's property, and if we needed to use that uh, space for district things, we'd have to align with the village code, but... Okay. That could be, I, I believe, the front yard. It's considered a front yard or a side yard. could have a four-foot fence around it. Whatever. It, it, yeah. Yeah, it's not something that... We just need to get to be able to finish this project. Bottom line. No, I, I'm glad you brought that up because um, okay. I'm not, I wouldn't vote for any green space for Hollywood. I'm just letting everyone know. I don't think it's appropriate. Well, again, it's just a setback to eliminate right. one more variance that we needed. It's like the lawn in front of the school. Correct. Okay. All right. 